Well, let's start with the fact that it's taking place in an occupied country. Japan is an occupied country. Ask the people of Okinawa that, for example. Uh, the United States has continued to occupy Japan and Germany since World War II. Um, at the end of World War II, Germany was divided into four parts. One part for the UK, one part for the US, one part for France for some reason, uh, and uh, one part for the Soviet Union. Um, the Soviet Union withdrew in 1989 from its part and disbanded its military alliance that lied between Germany and the borders of the Soviet Union. <clears throat> NATO promised that they would not move any closer. The U.S. would not station any more forces. Meanwhile, the U.S. still occupies Germany and also now occupies uh, Poland. It, I mean, if you have a treaty with someone that says uh, we're going to put our military on your land, uh, is that OK? And somebody gets paid to say yes, that, that's still an occupation. And Japan has been occupied uh, steadily. And in addition to J Japan being occupied, those parts of Asia that were occupied by Japan, with the exception of China, because China tossed the Japanese out, uh, are still occupied by the US, like uh, what they call South Korea. But that portion of Korea that Japan was able to conquer, when J Japan surrendered to the United States, the US took over its occupation of Korea, too. So most recently, the US military base in Okinawa, which takes a huge portion of the real estate of that part of Japan, um, was uh, expanded against the wishes of the people of, of uh, Okinawa. So th to, to the Japanese, the idea that the country that hosted the only two atomic explosions on a city in the history of the world would be a host to the G7 meeting uh, at a time where they are engaged again uh, in a World War III, in essence, with Russia, while the Japanese peace constitution, Article 9, is being tossed to the wind so Japan can rearm in earnest, of course the people there are upset. And, and you may see a change of regime in Japan over this once people catch on.